Welcome to this video tutorial on Golang by Simply Learn. In this session, we will learn about the most promising language Golang. We will start with what is Golang and learn about the history of Golang. Further, we will see why to learn Golang and explore its features. We will look into uses of Golang in various industries. After that, we will look into most popular IDs used for Golang. And at last, we will get to know about companies using Golang. So, hey everyone, I'm Abhisar Oja from Simply Learn and welcome to this video on what is Golang. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Now, we will look into what is Golang. Go, also known as Golang, is an open source programming language developed by Google. It is a statically typed compiled language. Moreover, Go supports concurrent programming. That is, it allows running multiple processes simultaneously. This is achieved using channels, Go routines, etc. Go language has garbage collection, which does memory management and allows the deferred execution of functions. It also supports networked and multi-core computing. You can run your first code without any setup on the playground provided at golang.org. We will look into the history of Golang. The Go programming language was born due to the complexity of managing the infrastructure and code bases within Google. The language creators, all from Google, had a clear goal. Design a programming language that would be easy to use but still be able to cover the main challenges while working with the company's intricate systems. Go was designed by Robert Grismer, Rob Pike and Ken Thompson and was designed at Google in 2007 and was announced to the public in 2009 and it was made open source in 2012 with the release of version 1.0. The most remarkable release, that is Golang 1.5, was presented in August 2015 and it included considerable changes. The compiler toolchain has been converted from C to Go entirely and at this stage, Golang took the form to which its authors aspired. Now, we will be knowing why to learn Golang. First reason, that is easy to use and learn. Golang is easy to use and understand. It has gained popularity in the top 20 programming languages. Go has a linear learning curve that appeals to novice programmers if someone already has hands on C Sharp or C++. Learning Go for them should be more accessible due to its striking similarities to C. The next point we consider is community and documentation. You can find the documentation on the official website that is golang.org. Go has solid and easy to read documentation. Apart from documentation, Go also has a supportive and active community. You can use the hashtag Golang whenever got stuck on Twitter to reach out to the community. Impressive standard library. Go users have a standard library packed with the language which reduces importing complex secondary libraries. Go's standard library is vast but not confusing, that is, without the issue of conflicting function names. One of Go's best contributions to programming is, it offers a more straightforward way of integrating data structures into code blocks. Next reason to learn Golang is strong security. Simple code is safe and more secure than complicated code. As Go is a statically typed language, Go users don't have to debug a lot of errors, which is the case with many dynamic languages and their number of variable types. Plus, the inclusion of a garbage collector also helps prevent memory leaks. And the last reason to learn Golang is attractive wages. According to a survey conducted by Stack Overflow, Go developers are the third highest paid after Perl and Scala. Due to Go's increasing popularity every year, this figure will continue to rise. 
Now we will look into the features offered by Golang. First, that is flexible. Because of the language design and its roots from C, Golang is easy to learn and understand with simple syntax. Next, concurrency. Go allows multiple processes to run simultaneously. Its ability to take advantage of multi-core processor architectures and efficient memory is one of the reasons why Go code is today running some of the most heavily used applications that can scale. Next is the fast output. Go comes with a very quick compilation time. In the Golang development environment, there is no virtual machine. The code is directly compiled to machine code, making the compilation process faster and more effective. Besides, the compiler produces only one executable file after compilation. This file does not suffer from dependency and can be uploaded and run anywhere. This makes the code execution process faster. The next is library. Go comes with a powerful standard library distributed as packages, which also reduces importing complex secondary libraries. The next feature is garbage collection. This is Go's one of the key features. It controls memory allocation and has significantly reduced latency in the newer versions. Developers need not worry about freeing up pointers or the situation associated with dangling pointers. Now we'll see the uses of Colang. Go was originally built for programs related to networking and infrastructure, intended to replace popular high-performance server-side languages like Java and C++. Colang's support for concurrency makes it an excellent choice for handling bottlenecks that prevent scalability. Today, Go is used for a variety of applications. Go is popular for cloud-based or server-side applications. Concurrency and networking features align with its high portability across various platforms make Go an exceptional language for cloud computing. As a matter of fact, many standout cloud platforms like Kubernetes were built with Go. Google Cloud also uses Go to enhance scalability and performance. DevOps and site reliability automation are also popular ways to use Go. Many command line tools are written in Go. Also, Go is used in the world of artificial intelligence and data science. Some uses Go for microcontroller programming, robotics, and games. However, Go shines the most when it comes to infrastructure. Today, some of the most popular infrastructure tools are written in Go such as Kubernetes, Docker, and Prometheus. Now we'll see some popular IDs used by Golang programmers. Goland. Goland is an IDE by JetBrains to provide an ergonomic environment for Go development. Sublime Text. It is a commercial source code editor that supports many programming languages and markup languages. You have to install Go Sublime plugin through package control that provides Go code completion and other IDE like features. Go Clips. It is an Eclipse extension that adds IDE functionality for the Go programming language. Vimgo. Vim is often called a programmer's editor. Plugins adds Go language support for Vim. Visual Studio Code. Using the Go extension for Visual Studio Code, you get features like IntelliSense, code navigation, symbol search, testing, debugging, and many more that will help you in code development. You can install the Go extension from the VS Code Marketplace. Now we'll see some companies using Golang. Uber, a ride-hailing platform that uses Go within its microservices. Kubernetes, Kubernetes is an open source container orchestration system used to automate software deployment, scaling, and management. Google designed Kubernetes, but the Cloud Native Computing Foundation currently maintains it. Dropbox Dropbox is a file hosting service that has migrated some major components from Python to Go. Netflix 
Netflix is the most popular OTT platform and has used Go to develop its server architecture. Twitch Twitch is a live video streaming platform that uses Go for many busiest systems. SoundCloud It uses Go to perform static analysis in real time, which is possible due to static typing and fast compilation. With that, we have come to the end of this session. I hope it was interesting and informative. If you liked it, please let us know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more from Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.